Hello. Today we're going to be covering the updated virtual machine undelete process with vSphere Remote Plugin 5.1. Now, in order to be able to undelete a VM, we're going to need to go ahead and power it off and delete it. Now, one thing to keep in mind is these VMs do have a storage policy assigned to them that have local snapshot protection enabled, so that on the flash array, they will automatically be placed in a protection group with the given snapshot schedule and retention policy. And here we can see these VMs all share the same policy and have several P group snapshots based on the interval and schedule for that P group. Now confirming that, we're going to delete the VM and do a delete from disk. Now when a VVOL VM is deleted, in vSphere, on the array, the volume group associated to that VM is destroyed, and the config and data vVols associated with that VM are destroyed. They are then pending eradication, depending on whatever the eradication timer is for that flash array. To undelete a VM, you'll navigate to the vVol data store, right click on it, and then go to undelete virtual machine. Here notice that the sources say one, even though all those other protection groups there. Clicking on there, you see that the source is called the destroyed volumes. As we showed on the array, the volumes were destroyed pending eradication. To that, you go ahead and collect, uh, select a compute resource and then go ahead and finish. Now in this process, the VM is now registered, recovered and registered. And now you can go ahead and verify everything looks good, power it on. After it's powered on, you can access it, verify everything's to the state that it was in or the state that you want it to be in and then proceed from there. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that when registering a VM, by default, there's no way to associate a storage policy with it. So when you undelete a VM, the storage policy is actually going to be empty. There's none associated to it. So you'll want to make sure that you reapply the storage policy rule sets that you want for that VM after undeleting and recovering the VM. Now you can see that this VM's volumes are placed back into that protection group. And that is the undelete process with the updated vSphere plugin 5.1. Thank you for watching this video. For further information about Pure Storage and our solutions with VMware products, please see our platform guide.